hackers as people stealing information, but that wasn't the case today. A group of hackers are working hard for 24 hours straight right here in Madison to come up with new technology innovations. NBC 15's Sharon Yu hung out with those hackers to see what they're up to. At the Mad City Hackathon, there's a lot of talk. A lot of tech talk, that is, as hackers from all over the nation build and innovate with each other for a full 24 hours. Creative computing, uh, doing something that, you know, not just doing your everyday programming or development, but really finding unique ways to do things, finding... Uh, Creating, like he said, creating um, something from nothing. In today's case, hacking does not refer to breaking into someone's computer. It refers to finding creative ways to solve different problems. This group here with me today is trying to find different ways to improve this bracelet that tracks forearm muscle movement. They plan to add communication features to the device. But you can just squeeze and it'll do the same thing. So why not? First, it was just going to be, you know, maybe send a text, but not, then, oh, why not have two of them communicate because they vibrate. So the team, who all just met this morning, will compete against other teams to see who can code the coolest upgrades. It's just kind of a way to meet people and then, like, have a really good time. And then also, it kind of just expands your mindset to other areas. And to them, the endless hours of untangling kinks in the system are all worth it. It's really hard at the time, and you kind of hate it sometimes, but... Once you end up getting something that works, it's like really, that's amazing. The team with the most votes will receive a grand prize that will fund their trip to the global hackathon happening in South Korea in late July. In Madison, Sharon Yu, NBC 15 News. The neat event. It seems like it'll be a busy 24 hours for everyone there. The winners will be announced tomorrow at noon. Well, let's check in with weather. We're starting to cool off a bit, but there's still some time to enjoy this great spring day. Chuck has a preview of what's ahead tonight. Chuck.